In this video, we're going to take a look at some tips for teaching long division. So first thing I like to do is use an acronym to help students remember the four steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So you can say, dead mice smell bad. Or, does McDonald's smell burgers? I always remember, dead mice smell bad. Second uh, thing I like to use is the metaphor of a garage. So, this long division box, I call a garage, outside the garage, inside the garage, on top of the garage. Um, you'll notice I color-coded the four steps, and I drew an air, a line under the divide step. So what I like to remind students is the results of this division step go on the roof. Everything else, multiply, subtract, bring down, happens below ground. And if you have colored pencils or markers, that could be a, a helpful way to have students use those so that they, uh, so that this concept is reinforced. Um, start out with easy divisors. Two, three, four, five. I would stick to those for now. Um, don't give students a two-digit divisor like 37. You'd want to use a calculator for that. It's not worth it. Um, okay, so then the other thing to check as they're doing their long division is make sure they're staying uh, lined up. So each of these digits is, has like a column. And if you have graph paper, have them use graph paper and do one, one uh, column per digit. But make sure they're not drifting. You want to build straight down into the ground. So here's an example. Uh, two goes into eight four times. And then we're going to reinforce that the multiplication step is related to the division path. The reason we put four here is because two times four is eight. So those two steps are linked. And now all these three blue steps are gonna happen below ground. Subtract, bring down. I like to draw a little arrow when I bring down and keep it going straight down. Two goes into three, so now we're back to the division step. We know that answer goes up on the roof. Two goes into three once, because two times one is two. Oops, so you already got off on the colors. Three minus two is one. Bring down the seven. Now we're back to the top. Divide. How many times can two go into 17? Well, two times eight is 16. So I put the eight there, the 16 down here. One, bring down the four. Two goes into 14 exactly seven times. Seven times two is 14. All right, excellent. Something interesting happened here. We brought down the one. Two cannot go into one. So what I, what I call this is a double bring down. If two can't go into one, we have to bring down the next digit, the five, to make 15. But whenever you do that double bring down, you have to put a zero up on the roof. When two couldn't go into one, you put a zero, because two can go into one zero times. It can't go into one. So you put a zero there. Anytime you see this double bring down, two arrows next to each other, same length, that first spot is going to be a zero. And we're almost done. Two goes into 15 seven times. Seven times two is 14. Subtract one. Bring down. There's no digit to bring down. Well, what you can do is just add the decimal point. And as soon as you add the decimal point in the garage, add it right up on the roof directly above and just keep dividing as normal. So bring down the zero. It did a decent job of keeping it straight. It's got a little drift going, but that's okay. Two goes into 10 exactly five times. And we're done. 
Another good thing to do with students is use the same divisor for a bunch of examples in a row. So like keep dividing by two and get them to start noticing when the number is even, there'll be no remainder. It'll be the whole number up here. But whenever the, uh, the dividend or the number inside the garage is odd, then the quotient up here is going to end in 0.5 every single time. Every single time you divide an odd number by 2, your answer is going to end in 0.5 because there will be that extra 1 that needs to get split in half. And to show that concept, you could do something like this. We have uh, 7 cookies and you're trying to split them between two friends. So, all right, so Peter gets these three cookies. Jack gets these three cookies, that's fair. But then there's this extra cookie, right? So they're each gonna get half of it. So sometimes visual like that can help re re reinforce um, long division concepts. So to recap, go over the acronym. Dead mice smell bad. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Have students write down that acronym at the top of the page when they're doing long division practice. If you have colors, color code it. D, one color, MSB, another color. Underline the D to remind yourself that this step happens up above the garage. These other th three steps all happen below ground. They're subterranean steps. So those are some uh, tips for teaching long division.